Hey folks, Troy Dooley, the Beachside CEO. You know, over the last year and a half, I've been doing loophole videos, talking about different parts of the network marketing profession where there are loopholes and where people can take the risk of trying to get around the law, trying to get around what could be unethical. And I've taken a lot of, a lot of heat for that. And, and I want to touch on one right now that has to do with supplements and the ingredients that are in supplements. And we started this part of our series about 18 months ago when I watched a man named Matt Cahill, who owns Driven Sports, use loopholes to create a product that literally revolutionized people's lives, became the number one best-selling product at Walmart, Target, GNC, Vitamin World, Bodybuilder.com, I mean, you name it, a Amazon, it was, I mean, people loved it because it was changing people's lives. Such a dramatic change in their lives that at least one 17-year-old girl died from it, according to the reports. Professional athletes, collegiate athletes banned from their sport because they tested for illegal substances and all they'd done was take this product. It revolutionized their lives. Notice how marketing terms can have a two, be like a two-edged sword. I'm seeing the same thing happen right now in network marketing. And the reason that it's happening is because of a loophole, I feel it's a loophole, in a law. It's the Dietary Supplement Health and Education Act of 1994. And I want to read just a little bit. I'm going to put it up on the blog post. Most of the stuff I'm talking about is going to be on the blog post because it's the only way to do it. The definition of a supplement means a product other than tobacco intended to supplement the diet that bears one or more of the following. A vitamin, a mineral, an herb, and a botanical, an amino acid or a concentrate, metabolite, constituent, extract, or combination of any of the aforementioned ingredients. That's a supplement. It could be anything except tobacco. Here's the other part that's controversial. Here's the loophole, if you will. Under the Act, supplement manufacturers do not need to receive FDA approval before marketing dietary supplements. Wow. You know what else is there? Think about this a minute. When we think about drug manufacturers, we think about people that have PhDs. They're scientists. Well, you can be a supplement formula and be a mad scientist. You can be a convicted felon. You don't have to have any type of background. All you really need to do is be able to create a product that has instant gratification effects for an individual, a good PR team, and bam, you've got the next greatest product. Matt Cahill that I mentioned a minute ago has got a brand new product out along with 12 others in the market and and they have a close cousin to the banned ingredient in his original product. This one's called Amp Citrate. It has a medical abbreviation of DMBA instead of DMAA. From Harvard on down, the questions that have been risen about how this will affect individuals based on what they're seeing is so strong, but yet we still have network marketing companies willing to risk it all. And the interesting thing about it is, every one of them that I've studied said it comes from the Puchong tea from Thailand or China. They say that's where this is coming from, but yet we've seen no preponderance of proof. I've seen nothing from any of the formulators. Matter of fact, I've not seen in network marketing any of the formulators come out and actually defend their formula yet. I'm looking forward to that. I'd love a private call because I'd like to see the document that actually shows me here's the tea that we put in it. Let me show you the video of how we manufacture this product. Let me show you how we get this ingredient in there because I haven't seen it yet. Here's what I've seen. I've seen a formulator tell a company that they've got the formulation, they slapped a label on a bottle and they sold it to people. And that's what I see so many times and that's what got, has me frustrated is because the loophole is there and I'm seeing it now being used to possibly harm people's lives. See the sad thing is most independent professionals in network marketing do not carry E&O coverage insurance. That's errors and omission. That means that 
if the company lied to you in their propaganda and then you went and lied to somebody else and that person dies or gets sick and they sue you, you're screwed. Because unless you're financially independent and don't have to worry about it or you live in Costa Rica or Belize or somewhere else that doesn't have an extradition treaty, you're going to go bankrupt, possibly go to jail. Many times these network marketing companies launch and they don't have email coverage. You know, all the time we talk about go and talk to our friends and family. And I believe that the people watching this video, they love their friends and families. I love mine. Would you want to kill them or harm them? But yet in our, in our excitement, because one of our leaders jumped to a new company and boy, we're all excited about what's happening. We just jump and we blindly follow the propaganda sometimes. I don't want to keep you all in this video long. You can go read everything over here on the report, but I want to cover a couple of things. I've seen some executives and companies defending their positions. One, one Facebook that I saw was basically a, a CEO saying, well, there's only been a, a few deaths and not even all those deaths can be attributed to the ingredient. It's okay. Doctors kill hundreds every year. Drugs kill thousands every year. I thought about that. I remember the Tylenol scare where people were just dying taking Tylenol. And I remember the look on my face when I saw the Tylenol there and thinking, man, mom and dad, and, and we've, we've taken that. Are we going to die? That's a scary thought. But what I remember even more than that is my dad coming home and saying, you know, this took a lot of guts. Tylenol just recalled all their product. They're pulling it all off the shelves. That's going to cost them hundreds of millions of dollars. They changed the world. You know, I, I take Tylenol, but I got a bottle of Aleve here my wife got me. See that little silver wrapper right there? That's because of Tylenol. They said, let's figure out how to fix this. Now we have that on products in food, grocery stores, everywhere. A company that took a handful of deaths and said, look, we stand for something. We're yanking the product. Even though it can't be traced back to our manufacturing process, we're standing responsible. And yet I've got somebody saying, oh, just a few deaths. I had a, another Facebook post I saw from an executive who said, well, I believe in our product so much, I take them. And, and I have my family taking them. Okay. Well, just because you're ignorant don't mean everybody else has to be ignorant. Just because you're willing to take the reputational risk of killing your parents or killing yourself or harming them in the health's way because you don't care, so be it. Heck, for all I know, you had a bad relationship growing up with your parents and you'd rather see them dead anyway. I'm joking. But I think how ignorant that is. That's just marketing propaganda. And it truly is ignorant to the facts because if you're that blind to the fact that this is so questionable because there's not enough documented proof one way or the other. I'm not saying this product's going to kill somebody. I'm saying there's no evidence one way or the other. And yet you want to stick it in a company with a name who has health or wellness in it. All because of a loophole that allows a manufacturer to use a product and doesn't have to ask for FDA approval until somebody does die or there's enough people that write in to say, hey, we've had some ill effects by this. That is an issue makes no sense whatsoever. We're going to put all the document, all the evidence that we have found up here. I'm going to put the videos from last year. I'm going to put a boatload of stuff up here from USA Today, who's done one of the most remarkable. It's been an award-winning documentary that they've done on investigating the supplement world. I am not a fan of regulatory control by the government. I'm a fan of us self-policing this profession. And if that means calling out the issues then that's what we're going to do because we've got to use wisdom, folks. If you have the knowledge of what's here and you don't act on it, then that's pretty doggone stupid. There's no other word for it. You want to take the risk with your own life? So be it. You want to become a guinea pig for your own ingredients? So be it. i got no problem with that. But if you're not going to disclose what could happen to people, either on your website or you're not going to train your independent professionals to let them know this is controversial, then I don't think you should be in the network marketing profession because you're doing damage to the great companies out there 
that are trying to change people's lives, not just with their income opportunity, but with the products that they actually manufacture and create that have proven track records of helping people. This is important, folks. Think about it. Live life like it's an epic adventure. Stay dangerous, stay strong. And if you're in network marketing, then act like it.